Good evening and welcome to Metro Focus. I'm Jenna Flanagan. On Long Island, a deadly disparity has been discovered among infants and mothers. Black women and their babies are four times more likely to die during childbirth than their white counterparts. Why? What's causing this high rate of death among women and infants of color? And what is being done to save lives? Joining us with the details of this crisis and how one group is making an effort to end the disparity, Dr. Nellie Taylor Walthurst and Martine Hackett of the Birth Justice Warriors Project, a nonprofit working to save African American babies and their mothers. Ladies, welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. So first, I just want to start off with how was it that this disparity came to your attention? How were you able to see clearly the numbers that there was a problem in terms of death rates during births? When I first became aware of the uh, alarming number of infants that was dying before their birth weight, before their first birthday, uh, it was probably about six, seven years ago when the statistics came out of Nassau County Department of Health and it showed that there were three uh, communities, uh, Roosevelt uh, and Hempstead and Westbury, Newcastle, with Roosevelt having the highs, Hempstead having the second highs, and Westbury, Newcastle having the third highest rate of African-American babies that were dying before their birth, first birthday and with the high infant mortality rate and many of the babies were born uh, beyond, below the normal uh, birth weight. So at that point, you know, it was like very alarming to me, especially since I've, uh, West, the, the community of Westbury, Newcastle is one of the communities that, that I work in. I've been working in that community for, for 30 years. So I took it personally and I said, wow, we have to do something about this. So that uh, it, it, uh, through our uh, Nassau County Perinatal Network uh, uh, Committee, I joined up with uh, Martine and we did uh, several events to bring awareness and really explore uh, this disparity in uh, these three communities and the, and the uh, parallel between what is happening in these uh, communities versus what is happening in some of the other communities. There is a big uh, disparity. And I just want to get a little clear for the audience. Um, are we talking just uh, birth deaths during childbirth as a result of childbirth or babies dying before their first birthday? And do we have uh, a sort of general understanding of what might be causing this? Yes, yeah, so we're talking about um, two different things, um, or I should say two interrelated uh, topics. One is infant mortality, and that's the death of an infant under one year. And so that can be within the first few hours, months, days, weeks of birth. And so that uh, infant mortality rate is uh, caused by prematurity and low birth weight primarily. And so we know that, um, as Nelly mentioned, that we see um, big differences uh, according to the, of the death rate um, from groups uh, across Nassau County and different communities. We're also talking about maternal mortality. And so maternal mortality is the death of a, uh, of a woman after uh, childbirth up until one year after childbirth. So it could be something that's directly related to the birth, like um, hemorrhage or uh, a blood clot, or it can be um, other related um, diseases that are um, that get worse after childbirth. And so both of these things are um, areas that need to be addressed in ways that sort of understand why these disparities and differences exist and recognize that not all communities are being um, have a fairly equal access to the things that can help to prevent them. Of course, and uh, one of the first questions that comes to mind is, uh, is there a role that poverty might be playing into this? But at the same time, we've seen several reports that have uh, pretty much laid out that there is a disparity in the quality of health care that uh, not just women of color, but particularly black women get, as opposed to their white counterparts. Were you finding that with your research? Absolutely. I mean, as you mentioned, this is something that is um, sadly not a new statistic that we see the, um, the care is different across um, different groups, specifically African-American women. And so what we found is that even though people would generally think this is something that happens in, in cities, right? And we know that in New York City that there is a high both maternal mortality and black infant mortality rate. But the truth is, when we start to look at these rates in Nassau County, a suburban area that most people really sort of 
of think that there wouldn't be these sort of similar urban uh, problems, that we actually do see that here. And in fact, many of the reasons are also the same, the differential treatment, um, women not being treated um, with respect and also culturally appropriate care. And one of the main reasons that we also see is something that's called deny and delay, that when women sort of, you know, express their um, something doesn't feel right, um, that they're not, you know, sort of um, uh, given the attention that um, they are and respect that they are um, probably actually accurately identifying. And so the example of Serena Williams and her um, and the aftermath of her birth is an example example of this that here is somebody who has, you know, poverty is not an issue, mm -hmm. but yet she identified um, that she's feeling the results of a pulmonary embolism or a blood clot in her lungs and was denied and delayed um, in terms of her um, access to care and um, came close to death. And so I think that this is where we start to recognize that this is something that cuts across all um, socioeconomic statuses among black women. So most importantly, then, what is it that can be done? What is how are you advising women um, to address or approach their treatment, especially when they're in such a delicate maternal state? I think uh, early uh, uh, intervention and early education, and that's uh, one of the focus of the Birth Justice Warriors Project is, is to provide education, awareness, bring attention to the stresses, bring attention to the disparities that many African-American mothers are faced with on a daily basis, and to, and to uh, come up with uh, strategies that, on a local level, on a, on, on a uh, state level, and even on a national level, to make sure that the playing field is level, that there are no disparities, that there be an equal distribution of the resources to reach the African-American mothers so that they can give birth, because that's our outcome, that is our desire, that every mother should have a healthy pregnancy and have a healthy baby uh, uh, and, and, and be able to improve the quality of life throughout Nassau County. Okay, but very quickly, I do want to ask, uh, should a new mother-to-be um, come to you and say, you know, I've read all these reports, I am a black woman, I'm pregnant, I'm concerned, what do you suggest that I make sure to let my doctor know or to be very forceful about? One of the things that we would say that's extremely important is to be aware of the risks after birth. And so we know that after birth, it's often the attention is right to that brand new baby and not to mom. We know that after uh, a woman delivers um, a, a baby, that there she is at risk for many of the um, leading causes of maternal mortality. However, most women aren't even made aware of what those causes are or what some of the warning signs of them are. So I would one of the things is that we would say is post-discharge, Women, before women are discharged, for them to know what they should be looking for in terms of their feeling fever and not to deny and to delay. And we also know that care for a mother after um, delivery is something that we consider un unbelievably uh, integral to this work. All right, well, listen, ladies, I want to thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you thank so much. You. And of course, for the work for, that you do. For more information on Birth Justice Warriors, visit us at metrofocus.org.